In SOLIDWORKS 2010, we've made some improvements in the consistency with which we handle visual attributes in parts and assemblies. One really nice enhancement is we now support decal display for parts and assemblies with no add-ins required. Previously, in order to display decals, you would have to enable the PhotoWorks add-in, which for some folks who don't own the PhotoWorks add-in, it would lock you out from being able to display decals. We now give you the ability just to toggle the display of those decals, whether or not you have the PhotoWorks add-in or whether you have it enabled. So nice enhancement there in terms of the visual attributes. We've also e expanded the visual functionality in part mode to now support display states. Similar to the way we handled display states uh, for the last few releases, you can now define different display states or different visual attribute combinations right here in the part mode. So it allows me to have different representations of the visual characteristics of this part without having to create additional configurations. Really nice. Something else that's great with 2010, a lot of folks had asked for the ability to display title block information in the part and assembly mode. These are people who are maybe doing manu direct to manufacturing uh, without printing paper. They're just viewing the part files uh, in e-drawings on the shop floor we can now put that title block information. It's basically just a, a, a table and you can customize these templates. You can use your existing title block templates and uh, just drop those in already pre-formatted. So it's uh, carrying along all that important design information but I'm not having to make a drawing in order to pull that information in. Now uh, let's pop, a, pop over to eDrawings for a second and take a look because this is where the consistency really shows up. Uh, all those things that we were able to do in the part and assembly mode in SOLIDWORKS now maps right over when we publish our eDrawing. This is great. Uh, first off, you'll see the decals are now supported in eDrawings. Second, you'll see that the display states are now supported both for parts and assemblies so I can toggle to the different display states and uh, in fact even the tables are supported. We can hide and show, we can move them around. All that info carries right over to eDrawings for a nice consistent user experience. But probably my favorite enhancement in eDrawings is the new print preview. Check out this preview window. It truly is a what you see is what you get type of a print interface and now as I zoom in to an area on my print preview that's exactly what will show up on my print. So very intuitive, a really nice enhancement that's going to save a lot of time uh, when printing drawings out of eDrawings. So I'm, I'm really impressed with how, uh, how much consistency they've strived to achieve here with the new, uh, new visual capabilities in SOLIDWORKS as they carry over to eDrawings.